This tutorial will review the report system in EasyClaim Premier. We will cover how reports are run and review the unique features available with them. For specific information on each report, online documentation is available where you will find descriptions and samples of each report. The documentation can be accessed through the support menu, Help Topics. Click the report section for more information on the report system. Each report has its own section, showing a sample and description. To access reports in Premier, click the Reports tab in the Search pane area. The reports are listed in the top section, and the lower section contains the criteria specific to each report. Next to the report name are two buttons for printing and previewing. Notice when I switch reports, the criteria available changes as well. Criteria is grouped into different sections. The general section typically contains grouping and visibility options. Other sections are used to organize criteria by the type, such as dates, claims, and so on. Before we get into the different types of criteria, let's preview a report and talk a little bit about the features available in Print Preview. To preview the report, we will click the Preview button next to the report name. The first feature is Search. Click the Search icon to open the Find window. I'll enter Smith as our search term. The program will jump to the page and highlight the field that contains the search term. Notice how the program outlines the field containing Smith. Another unique feature of Premier is the ability to open patients and claims directly from the previous window. Move the mouse to the patient name and notice that the cursor turns to a hand. Clicking the name will open the new patient record. We can return the report by clicking the Report tab. Premier does not limit you to opening one report at a time. You can preview multiple reports at once. Simply click the Preview button on another report and it will open its own tab on the right. Close these additional screens by clicking the X on each tab. Let's talk a little bit about the criteria and format options. From the claim list report, we have two options in general, group by and show service line detail. Most reports in Premier have some type of grouping option. In this case, we have different values we can group by such as bill to, primary payer, rendering provider, and others. Using this grouping option is a powerful tool when looking for summary data. For example, if we wanted to group and total by rendering provider, we would select Claim Rendering Provider and preview the report. Notice how the report is grouped and subtotaled by rendering provider. If we wanted to see service line detail for each claim, we can check the Show Service Line Detail box. Now the report will include service lines as well. Let's look at some of the other criteria editors. The date editor allows you to quickly select a date range by using the dropdown. As you can see, you can quickly select today, yesterday, this month, this year, and others. This helps speed up the date entry process. If needed, you can always enter a date manually using the start and end fields. The calendar dropdown allows you to quickly pick a date. Or you can enter a date with the keyboard. Other editors let you select more than one item. For example, the Claim Bill to Payer uses a checklist. Place a check next to each item to filter. 
Once the criteria have been entered, go ahead and preview the report. Notice the criteria selected shows at the top of the report. This is useful if you would like to run the exact report again. While we're previewing the report, I would like to point out all the reports can be exported. Click the export icon on the toolbar to see the variety of formats available, including PDF and Excel. Many of you may want to export the data to Excel for further analysis. One technique that we suggest is using the find grids found on the ribbon bar. You can think of grids as customizable reports. Let's open the service line grid and take a look. As a reminder, we have a full tutorial about customizing grids. Columns can be removed by dragging them off the screen. We can add columns using the column chooser. Then we can filter the procedure column to show one service type. And then the grid can be exported just like reports. Once the grid is showing the data you need, we can export the grid to Excel by right-clicking a column heading and selecting Export To, then XLS Format. We'll click OK to the export options. Save the file to our desktop. And if we want to open the file right away, we click Yes. The file opens Excel and we can work with it like any other spreadsheet. Hopefully this tutorial gives you a better understanding on the Premier Report system. Please review our other tutorials available at easyclaim.com.